am looking like I ain't got no makeup on. Which is true. I don't. Why is my car not going? Because it's got to be in drive, not neutral. So, we just finished dinner, and now I am headed to my mom's house for a little bit just to see her. Um, I have been wanting to make zucchini bread, and I've never made it before. I feel like that's like an adult thing is when you start baking bread. I don't know. So anyways, I like zucchini bread and I wanted to try making it myself. So I'm headed to mom's house because she makes some really good zucchini bread. And um, she told me that she would show me how to make it. So I'm going to go over there for a little bit and hang out. Nate, actually, he is having to go to bed early because him and a couple of his friends are going to the range in the morning and they leave at 5 a.m. Um, they go really early, but when they go to the range, that's far out. It's about an hour drive. Um, when me and Nate first started dating, that was the range that he took me to and that I learned to shoot at. Um, a majority of my shooting, I learned to shoot there. Um, and so every now and then, now that we have the range in our backyard, we don't go there often, but we do still like to go from time to time just somewhere different to go to. Downfall to it though is, oh my gas lights on. Rats. <sighs> hate getting gas. Anyways, the downside to going to that range is one, it's about an hour away. And two, we like to go really, really early because a couple reasons. Nate likes to um, utilize the darkness for his weapon lights so we kind of get practice in um with using weapon lights on our rifles so that's pretty cool and on our pistols too not just rifles um we have them on everything because why not so we go in the morning for that and then there can be some like kind of interesting people that go out there to that range once the sun comes up it seems to attract weird people so we like to go early too so we don't have to deal with any people there which is nice because we get the whole range to, our, range to ourselves, and um, we could do any kind of drill we want from zero to 100 yards. I think it's a 100 yard range. Um, so it's pretty cool. We have a lot of fun with it. You kind of, I mean, you have to bring your own targets and stuff like that because all it is is just a 100 yard range and then a couple tables. So you got to bring everything, but it's kind of fun sometimes when we show up people will leave their target stands or they'll leave targets for the next person to come by and play with. So, so sometimes you can find some really cool stuff out there. I've always wanted those, um, what are they called? Like reaction targets. Um, the ones that like you throw on the ground and when you shoot them, they bounce and stuff like that. Like the bouncy ball looking ones. I've always wanted some of those cause they just look so fun. And someone actually left theirs down there one time. And so when we showed up, it was just sitting out there and I ended up taking it with me because I wanted one. So, um, that was cool. And we played with that for a while and then, and then it ended up just getting disgusting and all shot up. So we ended up throwing it away, but it's pretty cool. Sometimes people leave some cool stuff down there. But anyways, that's what he is doing. So, I am going to go hang out with my mom and make some zucchini bread. And, yeah. Hello, everybody. So, I just got home from work. And, let me sit y'all up. Okay. I just got home from work. We are adding a additional room to the house so um i am about to go over there and see nate and see what all he has done while i've been at work this morning um we started painting the ceiling yesterday we were over there from like 12 30 to 7 30 like we were over there all day yesterday um which thank god it was nice outside because like I said we were over there all day yesterday but we painted the ceiling and we got a whole bunch of sheetrock dust off the floor which I found out yesterday that construction 
was never my thing and it will never be my thing. I need to stick to the medical field um, because sweeping up all that sheetrock was <laughs> about to kill me. It was all in my nose and I couldn't breathe and it was in my hair and just, it was everywhere. So we um, got the sheetrock up, or excuse me, we got the sheetrock dust up, um, like scraped the mud off the floors, which that was such a pain. And then we had to like damp mop the floors um, because like we don't have the actual floors put down. It's just plywood right now. So anyways, got all that cleaned up off the floors. Then we started painting the ceilings. Then we decided we wanted to go ahead and paint the door. Well, that was a whole mess in itself because we were like, Hey, we could just roll it and not put up the painter's tape. Yeah, no, horrible idea. We, we ended up having to completely scrape off like all the paint on the hinges and on the door and everything, put it down painter's tape. And then today while I was at work, Nate was painting the door. So that's what he's doing right now. I um, had to go by Lowe's because, let me put my shoes on while I do this. If I can set y'all up. Okay, so I had to go by Lowe's. Okay, so we went to Lowe's yesterday and we got, um, we got three samples of paint that we wanted to paint on the walls to see if we liked it. So we get the three samples and, um, we bring them home, which is like a 30 to 45 minute drive back to the house. And we open up the samples and one of them, they forgot to put the color pigment in. So when we painted it on the wall, it was completely white. Like we're looking at different grays and this was completely white. So that was aggravating. So today after work, I went by Lowe's and had to get them to put the color back in, which they tried to charge me for another sample. And I was like, oh. So they put the color into the sample, gave it to me. And so I got to get down there and give it to Nate so we can see what the last color looks like and then pick from the six colors because we got six different samples all together, which color we want. So um, I'm going to go ahead and go down there. And then I really want to show you guys a really pretty painting that I picked up for such a steal. Um, a girl I know is really good at painting. And so she posted on Facebook. And so I want to show y'all that. And I want to show you a couple of frames that I got, um, as a wedding gift, a late wedding gift, but they're super, super cute. Um, and yeah. Hey, buddy. Oh my goodness. You say hello. Always has a lot to say. Rocky. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the room. <gasps> oh, the lights. There's our swatches. There's that white one that didn't get any color. Oh my! This looks so much better than yesterday. <laughs> Wow. Can I touch it? Uh, yeah, I ain't gonna no long paint it. I think we'll have brush that. I love that. So I feel like all of my vlogs are gonna have a range trip in every single one of them. <laughs> Because it's kind of hard to avoid at this point. We're always down here. We've got, what do we have? PC charger. PC charger. Why is that target? Target on the ground. Oh, yeah. How did that get there? Trespassers. Does that have a little message on it? This target was up there yesterday. How did this get down here? The wind ain't blowing since yesterday. The wind always blows. Well, why is every other paper target still intact? Maybe that one wasn't. That was done by somebody. Well, it's now over here. I think I'm kidding. Well, let's let them know we're here. I'm
behind the siege right here. <laughs> Gross, my fingernail is. <laughs> I ordered a tripod because I was tired of taking Nate's. I ordered a bubble glass because I wanted another one. Oh my gosh. This is so tiny. I don't think I read the measurements. Quite a small tripod. <laughs> well, you, you can put that in your carry it, boy. Got a neat bag with it. Well, you got more pieces in here. Oh, that's good. I like this mount like that, even though mine broke. Wow. So, once we got home, I started making supper. We were having chicken mozzarella tortellini. I've never made this before. I actually got the recipe off Pinterest, so I'll link it below if you want to try it out. So what you'll need is two jars of Alfredo sauce, a bag of chicken mozzarella tortellini, a can of corn, as much or as little broccoli as you want, salt and pepper to taste. And I ended up not using any extra seasonings just because the smell was super flavorful in itself. And then you'll need a casserole dish to place everything in once combined. for today's video guys i hope you enjoyed it let me know if you try out this recipe nate hates broccoli and really wasn't a fan of it but i thought it was so good but this is real life so you gotta roll with the punches don't forget to subscribe before you leave and i'll see y'all next time